guys. Here we go into a quick recap and breakdown of Donaire versus Ubali and what was a fantastic performance from Donaire. So it starts off like any fight. As Donaire's coming forward, he tries to get his weight to the front foot and Ubali, like a great amateur, looks to attack him when he gets his weight to the front foot. As we see Donaire coming forward here, Ubali looks to explode out of his guard and start setting up attacks. Well, as Donaire makes his weight to the front foot this time, Obali looks to attack and he's setting up counters, taking a slight step off the line and setting up a right hand. Now, as Donaire gets better, he needs less and less time to set up, less enough space, so now he can only slip and start countering. And this puts a lot of pressure on Ubali to continue controlling the space with punches. Again, Ubali didn't really faint or probe very much, so he was always committing to these attacks. Now, because Donaire was countering him, that was opening up a lot of space for Donaire on the front foot here, as we see Donaire looking to land that lead right hand. Once that space is open up on him on, for getting on the front foot, Donaire is no longer being countered, and that allows him to throw this punch, and allows him to actually make Ubali make mistakes as well, walking him into this left hook here. Now again, continually coming forward, less and less counters from Ubali, more and more pressure from Donaire, more right hands, more opportunities to draw attacks to Donaire's front foot. Now why does Donaire want to draw attacks to his front foot? Well, he wants Ubali to attack him when he's on the front foot, when his weight is here, here, and here, because that's going to give him the best opportunity at throwing a powerful left hook, at being able to bring his weight from the front foot to the back foot through the sequence of his left hook uh, and really, really hurt Ubali as he does right here. Uh, and then after that, the fight, it's just a matter of time as Donaire has opened enough space with his right hand to find opportunities to land many, many, many left hooks and left uppercuts uh, and just shut Ubali out of the fight. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.